This is why I really hate straight people. You think the establishment's not playing a game on you. Please review. Please review Sugar Rose again. It sounds like a caring album. The footage is taken from Tomorrow Belongs to the Nazi. <laughs> the visual imagery is taken from Cabaret. When the Nazis take over and kill everybody. And, um... The sun, da, 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 da. tomorrow belongs, tomorrow belongs, tomorrow belongs to me. Not me. I'm not, I'm not suggesting I'm a Nazi. I am Hitler's peeps, but Jews are implementing the concepts of fascism, if you look. And they're using green technology. And if you look at Sugar Rose, I watched every video and I came to one and I'm like, okay, they really mean it. And it's a bunch of retards, retarded people with Down syndrome, with angel wings doing ballet. They're angels doing ballet and they're retarded. The other one was a bunch of old people overthrowing town, like Nazi Germany. The other one was two blonde guys that look like Hitler making out in secret and their dad hates them. So they're going to take over the world, I guess. I have no idea, but Sugar Rose definitely has a Nazi theme to it that you're not picking up on because you're obviously so brainwashed and you think everything's just being nice to you and it's not. Um, but let's talk about Flaming Lips. I wanted to do an album called the Menendez album, which is uh, like Sugar Rose backmasked. And if you actually listen to it and fucking dig into it, it's about killing your own parents. And it's based on the Flaming Lips and so I challenge anyone who thinks they're smarter than me to find the murder scene in this song, the video, Do You Realize, and kill your parents to it. No shit off my shingle. Find the murder scene in this video. And maybe you could have saved, it, saved us from the Las Vegas shootings. Got it? Idiot. Please don't tell me what to do or how I should think. Ever again. And please never get involved in gay people or gay marriage, please. If you're not gay, you're not welcome. I've said it plenty of times. I will deal with straight people, but if you're not gay, please do not play bisexual me. I did. I was. I was raped at four. I'm a total homosexual, okay? And it's because I was raped. I was not born this way. So watch the video, The Flaming Lips. Do you realize? I don't care if your wife gets beaten because your son's gay. I'm not protecting her. I'll tell you why I'm gay. I'm gay because I was raped before. It's probably somewhat genetic. And also, my mom didn't wash her vagina and she had heavy periods and had to smell it. So find the, find the murder scene. My challenge is find the murder scene in the flaming lips, do you realize, and pick up a hammer and beat your parents in the head until their skull's fractured for me. Peter in the head. Peter in the head. Peter in the head. 
and Steven Chuck. Do I really seem like someone would break a light bulb? Do I? Can you see Steve? Chips in my table. I would never break a light bulb, but watch this video. Oh shit, my panic alarm went off. I'm very careful about that. If I shut the fridge wrong, it just fucking goes off. And then I have to call the cops back and say, sorry, you know, whatever. It's usually I, I close the fridge too hard. Sorry, but um, if you see Steve in Vancouver, he raped me when I was four, and he's a liar, and he did it to get out of the priesthood. Uh, the Catholic Church and Mafia have been covering him for quite some time because it fractured Yugoslavia between Muslim and Orthodox lines, and it makes a lot of money. That's why. That's why. Money makes the world go round, baby. And um, so watch this video again. Do you realize Flaming Lips... And there's a murder scene in it, and when you find it, kill your parents to it. Oh shit, my panic alarm went off. I'm sorry, I'm not really that mad, and I didn't break the lady's light next door, in fact... I'm being, being watched by um, Jeremy of the Oregon Citizens Alliance. They're tapping into my nest cams and trying to set me up every step of the way. Watch this video, though, and I definitely meant to hit my computer. I'd never break someone's light. Um, I do come up with con stories all the time for people because of this shit. Because I, you can never know who you can trust, thanks to my Uncle Steve. And uh, watch the video again and tell me what you see. I see a murder scene. I see a murder scene right here. It's coming up. And, and I'm joking. I'm just, I'm playing this stuff. I don't care. I, I can afford another computer. She can't afford another light bulb. It's cheap ass halogen. I'm paying $10,000 on it. And um, I came up with a story because she's shining a fucking spotlight in my, wasn't she? She was shining a spotlight in my home um, because after telling me not to, I have a light out for my dog so I can my nest cams can pick it up. She told me not to shine it in her house. And then she shined a halogen light. A halogen, a bright spotlight right in my house. And it's a cheap one, too. Like you can pick up at any Walmart. Now she has cost me $10,000 over this with Robert Gunn. Robert Gunn and Gunn, a fucking fraudster from Britain over here. Shut up! And um, Jeremy of the Oregon Citizens Alliance is watching me. Oregon Citizens Alliance took abortion away from you. So if you hate hate him, I would like him dead too. So um, watch this video. And when you kill him... Yes, I did. Oh, shut up. Like I ever lose my cool. I don't. I don't lose my cool, Jeremy. You do. I, I'm pretty sure you could beat your wife. And I'd like to watch you beat Amy. I'd like to see you. I'd like to see you in front of defeat. I bet you beat her ass. I bet you do. I've never beat anybody, but you've harassed me for about ten years using your connections that are all British and Irish, Irish double Dutch tax break. So please watch this video again. And um, when you pick up where there's the murder scene, get a hammer, creep into your mom or dad's room, especially if it's Jeremy or Amy, who are defrauding me out of ten thousand dollars and a broken light bulb. And just smash their, I, I showed you how to smash their heads because they're costing me a lot of money. It's mainly the money that hurts. You know, 10000 over a broken light bulb. And here's what actually happened. I was walking home from 7-Eleven. A homeless person confronted me. I gave him a story about the light that's being shined in my house and how irritated I was because she complained before. And I said I was going to break her light and, you know, whatever. For street cred, because I like quite often when people are confrontational with me and they're homeless. The cop picked that up and he broke their light. And now I'm being charged 10000 And um, if you don't believe that, then you think this song is really nice. Watch it again. There's a murder scene. And if you don't pick it up, you're an idiot. Think of the Las Vegas shooting! Okay. 
Look up the artist Yoyo Kasama Love Forever. There's a picture which coincides with Nazi Germany shoes. There's a bunch of polka dots she's laid out. Um, it totally coincides with the shoes taken from the Holocaust. And they asked her, and she's, she's like in the mental hospital, still doing polka dots, Love Forever. And I had to study her. And then when my mom died, they showed up Las Vegas. So look for their murder scene and kill your parents for me and do it for Menendez. Menendez. And if um, you're Jeremy or Amy's kids, I suggest a hammer, especially with that fat ass and his fat head. He's a dumbass. Let the good things last. You realize the sun doesn't go down. It's just an illusion caused by the world. Spinning money. I don't, but thank you. And um, so when you hit that point, murder your parents for me, for the Menendez brothers, please.